it going guys welcome to vfg movie reviews and this is my review of all hallows eve guys welcome to the vfg halloween spectacular three the return this is the pre-show leading into our October celebration of all things horror. And you guys have seen it. We are covering so much during the month of October. You guys are just going to get horror slapped across your face like nobody's business. And we are going to start it with Art the Clown. Guys, if you could give us a like, give us a subscribe, help us grow in 2024. I'd sure appreciate it. Thank you. Now let's get into this review. Oh man. So I understand this wasn't like, I t oh, I take that back. Let's walk this back a little bit. So I feel like a low budget film, you can't really like nitpick too much because it's their first, it's like, they're right around their first films and stuff like that. They're still working out. They're still learning the craft. And this movie's actually really good. I like the concept that the video cassette is kind of leading art into their world. Um, there is a lot of things that are played into art into this that aren't seen in like Terrifier and Terrifier 2. We may see it in Terrifier 3, but we'll see when we get there. So, this, this is a brutal, br like, they are brutal, which br harkens them back to the days of just awesome, brutal slasher movies, uh, much like, uh, like Pledge Night, The Vineyard, uh, the original Nightmare on Elm Street, and it is just... Great that we have a new character, a new icon, and we, we we really have. We've been, I think we've been dying for a new slasher icon. Uh, since we haven't got Freddy in a while, since we haven't got Jason in a while, we kind of got Michael Myers, but he wasn't all that great. Like, we're, we're getting new people, but we're not getting, like, full-on gory slasher. And now we have Art the Clown, who is one of the just goriest dudes ever. Like, the, the amount of shit he does in this movie is just insanely weird. He kills two kids, which I absolutely love that. Like, I don't, I don't think anybody should be off the table in a slasher movie, like just slasher everybody. This guy is a homicidal maniac. Only if the story like allows him to be lenient towards children, should he be lenient towards children, but why would he care? Like, and that's what I love about this character. And I also love about this character that this dude will use anything he can to get a kill. He'll use guns. He'll use anything, which I absolutely, absolutely love. Like, we we don't have to have, like, certain things like he uses. I do like the, the flail that he uses with all the bits and everything. With the, Oh, my God. It's just so brutal. It's so brutal. But like I said, I, I love I, I I love the concept of the videotape. I love the concept of him coming into their world. I love all that. And it, this is a good movie, but there is a lot wrong with this movie. It is very low budget, very just kind of slapdash with what it's kind of doing. This isn't a fully formed art either. I would ultimately kind of say that if I would have saw this, I probably wouldn't have saw Terrifier. And so I'm um, thank God I saw Terrifier and then saw this because I don't think I would have. I would have been like, Arch just is a fucking dumb. It looks stupid. But I pre I I loved what I got in Terrifier and I appreciate what I saw in this because this is the beginnings. Where does this lie on my five star review scale? The story is a two point five. The cinematography is a two. The characters are a three. The design of this movie is very cool. The blood, the everything that goes into this is very cool, which is a four, which brings our total to 2.875. Guys, have you seen All Hallows Eve? Have you seen the birth of 
Art the Clown. Let me know down below in the comments. I'd sure love to have a conversation with you. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Help us grow in 2024. And guys, grab your seats. Grab that popcorn. Grab some soda. And enjoy the Halloween Spectacular 3, The Return. Thank you guys. And I will see you in my next review. Bye.